non-toxic toys, what's the big deal? Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Nawal and today I wanted to talk to you about non-toxic toy options. First of all, why non-toxic toys? And aren't all kids toys non-toxic? Actually, no. When you go into a conventional children's store or baby store, the majority of the products on those shelves are filled with plastic. Yeah. And even though we live in the United States, a country that's supposed to care about our kids, our plastic is still filled with a number of toxins. Many, many baby products, children's products, and plastic in general still contains phthalates. Phthalates is the chemical that makes plastic pliable and soft. So teething rings, a big offender of phthalates. Also PVC, those bath books, any of that waterproof plastic, that probably has PVC in it. And there's a number of other chemicals that are often found in plastics. BPA is one of them. Well, isn't everything labeled BPA free now? Okay, yes. However, there have been some studies done that are actually showing that some of the alternatives that they use instead of BPA are even more harmful than BPA. All of these chemicals that are in our plastics are hormone disruptors, endocrine disrupt disruptors, and just stuff that you really don't want in your body, especially if you're a baby chewing on a toy. So, there are many, many companies out there who are getting rid of these and are putting on their labeling PVC free, phthalate free, all of those things. And if you find companies like that, great. Make sure that they really are doing that and those products are fabulous for your kids. Some people say it's a little bit of junk in the plastics, whatever. It's your choice. It is a parenting choice. However, this is your choice whether you want to take the risk or whether you want to steer clear of it as much as possible. I'm trying to steer clear for, of it as much as possible, especially my child's first few years of life. Now I know that you cannot keep them from plastic as they grow up um, and after the age of three, you know, so be it. However, I really, really want to make sure that in the first couple years of life that most of their toys are wooden and non-toxic and not going to put all of those chemicals in their body. So here are a couple of, of brands and items that I highly recommend. I'm going to do a series so I'm going to split up. Today we're going to talk about 0 to 12 months and then next week we're going to do 12 to 24 months and then 2s, 3s, and 4s and up. So let's get started. Of course, I have to say that these are not all the brands that are non-toxic and there are many, many other ones. However, these are just a few that I have looked into, researched, and decided to trust. When we're talking about 0 to 12 months, we're talking about our little itty bitty babies, our precious little ones, and they don't need a whole lot of stuff in the first few months. But things that you're going to want are teethers. Well, there are some options that are not plastic in the teething department. One of the brands I love is Haba. Haba, H-A-B-A. Haba, I believe, is a German brand. It might be Swiss. I'm not sure. But it's a European brand. And the reason European brands are so great is that they have much stricter standards in Europe than they do here in the United States as of right now. So their products have to be even more chemical-free than any products that are made here. So they do use water-based paint. So it's lead-free paint. You do want to make sure when you look for wooden toys, it's lead-free paint, water-based, non-toxic, all of that stuff, non-toxic finishes, you know, you really want to, don't just get any old cheap wooden toy. <laughs> so this ring I love, it's got the little uh, rings here that go around it, and it's got colors and they kind of wiggle, it's a great teething ring. Another teething ring that I just recently got, this is a 100% organic teething ring, and I got it from an Etsy shop, I will link it below, I can't remember her name, but it is a natural maple ring sealed with organic beeswax and organic olive oil to protect the wood and then this is a soft organic Sherpa teething cloth to catch drool and it's just an Etsy mama and it's wonderful I love that it's organic great teething ring this is the hape rainbow toy 
Um, it, I believe they do call it a teether, but it, it's just kind of a clutching toy as well. It's got the, these little things that move around, and I think that's just so cool. Hape is the Swiss, this is the Switzerland one. This is the Swiss company. So Haba is German and Hape is Swiss. Um, so it's again, it's another European company, water-based paint, non-toxic, extremely, extremely thorough testing. So I love this one. Another Haba clutching toy is this little one, and I will put the name below. I don't remember the name, but it's just such a cute little clutching ring toy. There's another brand that I really love, and that is Plan Toys. Now, Plan Toys is a U.S. company, and they do make their toys in other countries, but they do have very strict standards and the water-based paint. And this is their key ring, which is so cute. I love that. It's just little wooden keys on this uh, cord almost. I think that's just a cute little key rattle. A great place to look for really good quality wooden toys are finding Montessori toys. I found this Montessori set on Amazon and I believe I got it for about $30. Um, and I got four little toys with it, but you can also get them um, individually. You can get different sets. You can get them off Etsy. There's Montessori uh, outlet stores online, just all kinds of stuff. But Montessori and Waldorf have toys that are natural wood, safe wood, made for infants and toddlers and their development. So I love Montessori. You have the beads that they can manipulate. This is just a little wooden rattle. This is the pin and the uh, ring. They can learn to put that on. Great for fine motor. And you have the egg and the cup. There's also a peg and a cup or something like that. Um, very similar to this but different. Just wonderful, wonderful fine motor skills. But it's all natural and safe and fabulous stuff. Other teethers that you can look at are silicone teethers or natural rubber teethers. And these are going to have the more of the gummy texture. Uh, and there is some debate in the natural community as to how safe silicone and rubber are. So I would be careful about that, but I do think they're definitely better than the other plastics. This particular one is by Zoli, and they have several different uh, styles. I have a couple of them and I think they are a good alternative. Another alternative is cloth. This is a elephant teether and it is by Under the Nile. I love Under the Nile for their organic Egyptian cotton toys. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. They also have a line of children's clothing, sheets, uh, bedding, all of that kind of stuff as well. Uh, but you can also make your own cloth teethers, and I will be doing that. I will be making some of my own cloth teethers and teething rings and stuff like that. You can just do it yourself. Give them some cloth to chew on. In that first year, if you want to give your child stuffed animals or a lovey, I highly recommend the Under the Nile brand. This is an elephant lovey. Oh my gosh, they have so many different cute animals. They also have the little sleeping doll loveys. They're all 100% organic cotton. And they're super cute. They have lots of selection, lots of colors, lots of different animals. They also have stuffed animals. Like this is their uh, adorable little scraptopus. I think it's the cutest thing in the world. Um, they also have scruffy cats and scruffy dogs in different colors. Um, they have stuffed vegetables. Just a ton of different things in the stuffed department and lovey department that are organic. Another brand that is selectively um, can be used is Manhattan Toys. Manhattan Toys is another American company and this is, uh, I can never remember the name of this, it's got kind of a funky name, uh, but they have this one in natural plain wood and also in the colors and they have a couple other rattles similar to this one and for the most part I believe that they do use good non-toxic paint. However, 
it's not all of their products, I believe, are completely non-toxic, but I could be wrong about that. I haven't done a whole ton of research into them. Some other toys that I have found, again, Plan Toys has the little things like your first phone and it's just an alternative to all of the electronics and the buttons and everything. Nothing happens when you press these buttons and you, you know, there's, you can look through and it's kind of funky looking plastic in there, but just more of a natural alternative. I'm a huge, huge fan of HAPE. As I said before, this is a Swiss company. This is their little dump truck. It um, comes apart. It's a little stacking block. It's super cute, good through 10, um, 10 months and up. And it's just a great toy for kids to begin to learn. Other ones that I have of theirs are the Giraffe Stacker, which is um, 12 months and up. So this is at the very top of our 12 months there uh, because of the small pieces. And also their Counting Stacker, which is also 12 months. But I really, I just love the water-based paint and how amazing they are. This is also their City Planner Block Set, 12 months and up. Great for those beginning toddlers to really learn. HAPE also has these cute little pulling, pulling toys. They have different animals, pull-along toys. They are wooden and, and these are 12 months and up and I have the zebra and I also have the giraffe. When you're looking at bath toys, Green Toys is a fabulous brand. They are 100% recycled plastic that does not have any of those awful chemicals. They're recycled from milk chunks actually, which is one of the safest plastics that there is. So I love Green Toys. This is their tugboat and it is six months and up for the bath. It's got this little pouring spout and everything. I also have their little race car, which is a year up and up and they have a lot of different kinds of toys and they're just they're a great toy if you are looking for more of the durable plastic um, toys and then finally when you're looking at puzzles melissa and doug is a wonderful brand they have very safe wooden toys um, wooden puzzles like this one are for 12 months and up so that's a snapshot of a few of the different brands that i love for toys from 0 to 12 months if you know of a great brand of non-toxic toys, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about that. And thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week for 12 months to 24 months. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Many, many different brands of lavender, and I cannot stand them. Um, even the more natural I have some some organic ones, oh, and they just stink to me. And I'm not even super, super fond of this particular smell. First of all, lavender 